Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. And this time we're going to talk about one of the most successful and well-known Apple IIc clones. I'm talking about the Laser 128. So let's see what this beauty is all about. Let's start. Here it is. The Laser 128 was one of the most successful cloned computers from the Apple IIc era. And this is, uh, this is the latest version. This is the 128EX2. There was 128, then they came out with the EX that was an accelerated version of the 128, meaning it was not 1 MHz, but uh, 2.5 and up to 4 MHz, I think. And then the EX2 was the same thing, a competition for the Apple IIc Plus, but it had a three and a half uh, drive instead of a five and a quarter. The beauty of this machine is the expansion port on the side. So you could use normal Apple II expansion cards. One thing that you could not do with the Apple IIc. Port wise, it came also with different ports, you know, the joystick mouse port, a parallel port, the one thing that the Apple IIc didn't have, um, a MIDI or um, modem port switch, so you could have the, the port to be MIDI or, or a modem. Then it has a special video port that we're going to talk about it a little bit later. Also our um, composite external drive, modem and, and printer, and the power supply. And the power was the same connector as the Apple IIc, so you could use a, an Apple IIc connector if you wanted. On the other side, it had also volume and an earphone connector, just like the Apple IIc. Lately, there's been a lot of information and videos about the Laser 128. You know, it's a very popular machine and a lot of people like it a lot. I, I like it, it's nice, I have my doubts about it, and I'm gonna talk about that later, but, uh, you know, overall it's a great machine. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about things that people have been repeated already, uh, so I'm gonna try to just show what it was available uh, for it, as it hasn't been shown by uh, some other people. I'm gonna start with expansion first. So the first thing that they had was an external floppy drive, so you could connect, um, you know, and for this one specifically, it was important to have an external floppy drive because uh, it was a, a three and a half internal one. So you could connect a five and a quarter external and you will have um, compatibility with three and a, and a half. Other thing that they had was, um, of course, the external three and a half, these could be used by the one that had five and a quarter, and of course this one too, as a two, three and a, uh, and a half floppy drive. I'm just gonna put the power supply. It was a little bit smaller and a little bit less heavy than the Apple IIc one, but it was still, you know, what they call the brick on a leash. Another thing they had was a mouse a Laser 128 mouse uh, branded, so you could use, um, you know, any program that used them mice. And then uh, they also had a joystick, a Laser 128 branded joystick. Um, I have my little considerations about this joystick. It is really not very nice because I'm a joystick fan and this is really very small. I think it's designed to have it on your hand all the time and play with it like this, because it has the buttons on the sides and is really ergonomically not very comfortable. And also there's no way to adjust the trim. So uh, if it's moved a little bit, you gotta live with that. And I've been playing some games and some of them just go sideways. So that's, that's another issue, but you know, at least uh, it's a branded one. So 
that's another one the one thing that we have and last but not least this was one of the fun things that they had and this is the move this along a little bit so you can show it really well the expansion box and the expansion box allowed people to connect as you can see this big connector you would take out the cover connect it directly to the expansion and then in here you can actually open it and there's two more ports port 5 and port 7 so you could use it as a peripheral expansion port uh, this kind of takes out the portability of the computer but at the same time if it was your main computer you could actually add cards to it so this was a very very good um, improvement over the Apple IIc later in the game Laser came out also with a three button mouse so that's another fun thing and I like this model a lot better than the than the original one this kind of the same form factor the only thing is that they added the three buttons instead of one so it's a nice you know improvement maybe I don't know what are you gonna use these two buttons maybe they were like the function keys that you can program them but it's a new feature it's a nice feature nice addition A little bit later, Laser came out with this other joystick. <laughs> and again, I'm not very, very happy with this the joystick, but actually this joystick was for both the PC compatible la uh, Laser, the Laser Turbo XT, or the 128 series. So it was basically Mac, Apple II and PC. It looks a little bit like um, the Kraft KC3 but the buttons are crude and uh, it's not you know at least you can you know change a little bit uh, the position and um, fix it but and of course has a connector for um, the old Apple II internal connector or the external one I'm sure they uh, I must have the other uh, adapter for the PC but again this is also big crude but it's uh, another one of the laser and the last item I have in the collection is this uh, laser 2400 modem so if you want to connect like the pros you want to use a laser modem All right, let's talk about what I do like and dislike about this computer. There's a lot of things to like, of course. It's a beautiful computer. It's a really nicely designed computer. It has uh, an extended keyboard. It has function keys, a thing that the Apple IIc did not have. And it has some uh, cool features like the mono and color switch that allows you to switch between color and, and monochrome for certain applications like the Apple II desktop that I love. So um, it has uh, several buttons for turbo, uh, a disc um, LED, so it shows you when the disc is running, caps lock, and the power. So let's turn it on and see it. And there it is, booting up. There's nothing, of course. Let's put a floppy and restart it. And this is what I don't like. The keys over here are kind of the worst keys I've ever used. Well, one of the things that I really, really like about this computer is, of course, the ability to add some cards to it. And which would be the better card to test it with? So let's see how it works with this. And this is a fast, cheap accelerator from Plamen.
And we're running right now at 16 megahertz. And this test is gonna be better with a game, I think. So we're gonna do this with a game in a minute. All right, I just realized that, you know, I cannot be testing without a joystick and some good game. And honestly, I'm kind of, uh, I don't like to, to wait too much. So let's turn it off and uh, let's connect something faster. And that's my W drive. So that's another thing I like about this computer. It's very compatible. Let's also test my converted monitor. For that, we're gonna have to take out the drive. Oh, yeah. So that's another thing I like. This works with the LCD, Apple LCD monitor. Okay. So I got an accelerator connected, my fast chip. I got the W drive from um, KBU HK. I got my LCD and I got an external LCD over there. So let's see what happens here. Oh, card error. So the fast chip is running. Let's run total replay. There we go, total replay. And why aren't we getting anything? So let's run a normal game called Retro Fever, one of my favorites. Here we go, we're running out of the soft SP, uh, W drive, and it's loading the game. And here we go. And of course it sounds like that because Let's go and rescue some computers from eBay and the evil guys. They want to get my computers, but they won't get it. Let's see you repairing the, those computers. Anyway, as you can see, this is a um, good computer. It runs a lot of good things. I don't know why it doesn't run total replay sometimes over here, but another thing that I can do is I can put a CFFA card and it will run uh, from the CFFA, CFFA card. So there's that. As mentioned, I just replaced the accelerator with a CFFA card. Let's turn it on. It gets in, it breaks because it this is uh, port number five, so I need to start from port number five. And there we got it, total replay. So there you have it, folks. This is the Laser 128EX. It's bigger than the Apple IIc. This is actually the one that we should compare it with, the Apple IIc Plus. Again, you know, bigger. Thicker. And a lot more. And a lot heavier. So, 
But again, also it was, it had a lot of things that the 2C Plus didn't have, mostly the, the, the port extension and, you know, MIDI, something that the Apple 2C Plus didn't have. But, you know, overall, it's a great computer. I like it a lot. And um, I just wanted to show you an overall of the, uh, and I think nobody has shown an EX2 right now. So, um, hope you like it. Again, um, please leave any comments in the comment part. I love comments. Subscribe, don't forget. Tell your friends. And we're trying to build a community over here. So, please keep on sending, you know, messages. Um, tell everybody and... Um, we're going to try to collaborate with other uh, YouTubers pretty soon so we can have more information. Also, remember, there's Skate Fest in two weeks. So we all be there. We're going to have a lot of fun. We will see you there. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.